Hello everybody, it's that time of day again, we are playing indie horror games and today we are playing The Raven by Bluebird Games and yes, it's a narrative horror game based on Edgar Allan Poe's poem The Raven. If you don't hate my voice already, you will hate it with this video because there's going to be a lot of reading in this one, so yeah, before we begin, let me read the description from the download page. A frame, a desolate man grieving for the loss of his beloved Lenore, drowns his sorrows in alcohol as an escape. But one day, while perusing a strange book of forgotten science, he's interrupted by the visit of a majestic raven. And also a warning, this video may contain vulgar language, references to alcohol, depression and blood. Yeah, yeah, just a warning for those that are sensitive to such themes that you should not watch this video or play this game. Let me take a deep breath and let's begin. A frame, a man burdened by grief after the loss of his beloved Lenore, drowns his sorrows in alcohol as an escape. But one day, while perusing a mysterious book of forgotten science, he's interrupted by the visit of a majestic raven. That one over there. November 1854. In the stillness of the night lies my afflicted heart. For I have lost my beloved, my sweet Lenore. In her tomb rests her motionless and cold beauty. And my soul is left alone in the deepest agony. How to move forward without her warm embrace? How to find light amidst this twilight trace? For her smile and her love were my sole reason to be. And now her absence makes me long, faint and flee. Yet I shall carry on, though my heart tears apart with pain, seeking solace in the memories of our love's remain. For thou, my beloved, hast gone far away. Her love shall live forever in my shattered heart's array, though that was that word. Let death not be the end of our true love's accord, but the beginning of an eternity together in a sincere world. While here on earth darkness veils me with its chilling shade, your light shall keep shining in my soul like a crimson blade. And as I await the moment to be with you in eternal space, your memory shall stay alive in my heart, my divine grace. December 1854 Is this real? I cannot escape this pain. Time has halted. How can I carry on? Why can't I remember everything clearly? Why do I only have these blurry and fragmented images? And pixely too. Where are you, my love? Come back, I beseech. How can I move forward without you? How can I find purpose in this life after losing you? Lenore! Dude, you can't handle your alcohol, eh? I can't either, so I don't drink. Christianity embraces an unwavering faith where philosophers like Aristotle and the Peripatetics strive to uphold conflicting opinions about the nature of things. However, I cannot endorse any of the theories about demons put forth by Plato, Porphyry, Plotinus, Jamblichus and others who, though they have written extensively about demons, have created more fantasies than realities. Therefore, I cannot subscribe to their views even though they have been supported by learned men. As a result, I worship the Almighty God the architect of the universe, who, before creating this admirably adorned world with the orders of wondrous spirits, had created these incorporeal beings as testified by the divine messengers sent to us through Moses for a long time. Okay, next. 
In the deep of the night, when shadows lengthen and fears lurk, this story comes to life. I firmly believe in the accounts told by those who spoke with God through the walls of ancient sacred texts. It was a time of benevolent beings who, from the heights of goodness, ruled over all that existed. They were intelligent beings, though without physical form, in tune with the divine nature, limited yet conformed to it. God created and cared for them, so that they, in turn, would worship and adore him. He bestowed upon them outstanding intelligence, magnificent consciousness and eternal knowledge. The soul shone like rays of divine light, emanating from the true source of eternal faith. Huh. What does this all mean? I failed to comprehend this tome. It's strange and haunting pages, so uncertainty within me. Drinking wine does little to soothe the growing anise. Time passes, and my interest in the book gradually wanes. Despite that, I must admit that... Hello? A loud knocking at my door startles me, making the book fall from my hands. I try to silence the incessant pounding of my heart to no avail. Who could it be at this hour of the night? The raven. Ooh, and we can actually move. Fantastic. Should we go straight for the door or can we, you know, check around a bit? Let me check around a bit. Can we drink the wine? No. Tank controls are always welcome in my book. And what's that thing back there? Okay, we'll not find out now, I guess. Let's check the door. Pardon, fair lady or noble sir. I beseech your pardon for the delay. I must confess slumber overcame me, and I did not perceive your knocks at my door. Hesitant, I opened the door, only to find the dark and cold hallway. The noir, I murmured, and the echo returned it in a chilling whisper. Is this a dream, or an endless nightmare? Okay, back to our chair. Can we do something with that bound creature back there? Not necessarily something weird, like just interact with it. No. Okay. What was that? Could it have been just the wind? No, it can't be the wind. That thought was too clear. Someone has knocked on my window. Okay, let's check the window. I contemplated the unfathomable blackness for a long while. The wind howled fiercely, and I could also perceive the first drops of rain falling. Only the wind and nothing more, I thought still doubtful of my own sanity. With reluctance, I closed the window and decided to return to my chair. Fantastic, now we know where to go. I'm still uncomfortable with that thing back there. But the chair will shit. Fuck you, Raven. Without a trace of reverence, an ominous bird of yore burst into the room. It perched upon the bust of Pallas, motionless like a statue. I regained composure and my role as a host approached the holy draven. Bad idea. Even with her crest maimed and severed, art thou not a coward? O oh, raven of horrifying aspect that wanders from night's plutonian shore, tell me what is thy lordly name from night's plutonian shore? What? Quoth the raven, nevermore. See, nevermore. I was perplexed by the unheard of eloquence of this ominous bird of yore. However, its vague and irrelevant response left me somewhat indifferent. Has any living being had the privilege to witness such an act? Bird or beast perched upon the sculpt bust of Pallas with such disquieting name. Nevermore.
I observed the bird for a while, barely whispering. I uttered the following words. Other friends have forsaken me before. Tomorrow he shall leave me as well. Just as my hopes have done. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Surely what it says is all it knows. A single repertoire of words learned from some wretched master, whom it must have harassed relentlessly, until its dirges bore only one meaning, until the chance of its hope carried that melancholy burden off nevermore. However, the presence of this ebony bird drew a smile upon my face. Eh, barely. Did God grant me this moment to forget, even if briefly, the absence of my beloved? Whatever the reason may be, I must displace my chair for a better view of the raven. So I'm controlling the game again? No? Yes? No? Yes, I am. I'm still freaked out by that thing back there. Perched upon the bust of Pallas, the bird whose eyes seemed like burning embers peered into the depths of my soul. Weaving one fantasy after another, I found myself sketching the raven on the pages of my diary. In that moment, the atmosphere seemed to grow denser, infused with an invisible incense as the steps of seraphs surrounded, resounded on the carpeted floor. Rats, your god has granted you respite to these angels. A respite of Nepenthe for your memories of Lenore. Hasten, oh hasten this sweet Nepenthe and forget your absent beloved Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, think of evil, whether bird or devil sent by the tempter. Or cast upon this haunted refugee by the storm. Prophet, tell me, I beseech you, is there balm in Gilead? What? Quoth the raven, nevermore. Prophet, think of evil, whether bad or devil, by that firmament stretching above our heads, by that god we both adore. Tell this sorrow laden soul, if in the distant Eden this weary soul shall find its beloved. If this weary soul shall find its beloved, whom angels call Lenore. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Be that word or our sign of parting, bird or fiend. Fly back into the tempest, to the night's plutonian shore. Leave no black plum, as a token of your lies your spirit has spoken. Leave my loneliness unbroken, quit the bathtub of my door. Take thy beak from out of my heart, and take thy form from off my door. Quoth the raven, nevermore. And the raven, Never flitting, still is sitting. Still is sitting on the pallid bust of Pallas. On the door frame of my room. Its eyes have the appearance of a meditating demon. Its shadow stretches across the carpeted floor and my soul. Deep within that shadow remains imprisoned, unable to break free. Nevermore. No. The end. So that was the Raven. Yeah, that was pretty much the poem from Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, it was very well made. I loved it. All the graphics and all the visuals and the sepia black and white filter and all that. A bit bad acting on my part, but 
uh, you know, I was trying to catch up to some words and all that. Still, I hope this this was pleasing to your ears and your eyes as a visual experience and an audible experience. Hope I actually hope I can get the chance to play such more such games because even though yes, it messes up my throat and my acting skills are bad. I actually loved this one, so yeah, looking forward to more. But all in all, as a game, was it worth it? Yes, it was a fantastic 15-minute game based on a poem most people already know and very well delivered. Everybody, go to the link down in the description below, download this game, try it out for yourselves, help any developers get the games out there. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.